got hella shit to show. Uh, some of the stuff I've done, uh, upgrade wise, you took it at one time and I, I, I realized all the stuff that I'm missing, so. So there's a Crown Point custom style RV in. Yeah, I guess you can call it that. But yeah, I, I, uh, storage up front, I threw a bed box that keeps going to a truck or something like that. This is my 2019. Me and my wife bought a Forest River Rockwood Mini Light. I put a bed box here, aluminum. I welded a frame, some one and a quarter angle. It's an aluminum box, so it's lighter. And I relocked it to match all the other locks. Yeah, hold my hitch stuff and my. I put two batteries on here, and uh, yeah, it pretty much holds everything. And then I went and got some bed lights you put in your bed, and I wired it up to a button, so I have the LEDs on both sides. It's really bright. And then I hooked up a switch here, so instead of getting into this box and getting into this box to check your battery voltage, I hooked it to a switch right here, so this is locked and closed. You just flick it up and look, oh, okay, I'm at 12.6, I'm charged up. So instead of opening all that, to put a voltmeter on it, I know what my volts are. So let me uh, put some more power in this. Yeah, I just welded a frame, angle iron, and then um, bolted everything down to that. Yeah, it seems to do well. The IRV, I guess, the IRV unit, the stock receiver, it was hot garbage, so I, I, I shit can. That was the first thing to go. And it was on a 12 volt source, so I, I just wire it like a car, put a uh, Pioneer doubled in. It's a pretty common modification guys are doing in the RVs. And then uh, for the zones, people do f fade front to back to get the outside to the inside, but my wife, bless her heart, she didn't want to go through all that, so I, I hooked them up to switches. So there's the radio on, inside and outside speakers. I upgraded here. I upgraded the uh, thermostat heater controls to Honeywell. It's like 40 bucks on Amazon. And got the high and low fan switch for my wife. Label them. Got a label maker to label them. We had the old analog one before the Coleman mock analog one, and it was it was garbage. It had a huge swing on it. You get too cold and too hot when it turned on, and it was just this one keeps it within a couple degrees, which is good. Made this too. This is a. Um, for a paper tower holder and a spice rack, and I stained it to match. Um, they won $100 for these. I, I probably did this for 17 bucks. Uh, speakers, I um, I ripped the, I guess you'd call them tweeters, is pretty much what they were. I ripped those out and cut holes, and I got some pile uh, coaxial speakers. Best mod ever. This right here, with that head unit. And I did a subwoofer too. I, um, I cut the couch out. My wife thought I was nuts, but I cut the couch in half, and I put a uh, yeah eight-inch subwoofer fit right here. But uh, don't let it fool you. I just didn't cut a hole and stick it there. I blew this whole thing apart, and I made a box. If you do the, I bought just it's just a scar. Uh, got good reviews on Amazon. Little eight-inch subwoofer with a huge magnet. But this, and I put a base control right here. So as we're watching movies. I can adjust the base and stuff, and some of the leftover stuff I had, I um, I put LED lights in the port, and it's a labyrinth port, so I built it the way it should be. You can see how it kind of goes back there. And this is awesome. This thing hits harder than most 12s by the time I'm done with it. And then I saved the old uh, upholstery and I reupholstered it with the same with the same fabric, so it came out pretty good. And it sounds pretty good when we're watching movies and people get really engaged with the sub and the, the surround sound now. I don't know if you can see it, but I did a, uh, I did an upgrade to the shower, the shower sprayer. I got an Oxygenics one, and that's worth its weight in gold too. The other one's like, it's like a freaking garden hose. It was pretty sick, pretty, I was pretty sorry. So I replaced it with that, and that, shoot, I got that at, that was a last minute thing at Walmart. They had them at Walmart, it was like 30 bucks. So that was kind of nice. Oh, I made these too. We use these a lot to match my paper towel holder with the wood. I made these up here. And uh, they're mounted right above, I don't know, 
the, the blind ledge, I guess. And we put, you know, my wife puts her, her water bottles or glasses. I put flashlights, knives, whatever I need up there. And um, yeah, I made one for both sides and then we use that too, just storage. And then these here, I, I wanted shelves in here. So yeah, we got these on Amazon, Amazon Basics, 50 bucks and adjustable shelving. Don't have to drill into the walls, it just sets right in. So that was pretty cool, I did that to both sides. Oh, I wired in an inverter so we could plug the TV in without the generator being on when we're boondocking. So then uh, I have it wired to a switch so we can watch TV or whatever while um, when my daughter wakes up, she can watch movies without the generator running. That's right here, I made a little, uh, I like to make these. These are little, you know, 3000 game, video games and for Sega, Nintendo, that kind of stuff. And I, I, I wired this up so the kids can play with wireless controllers and yeah, it's, it makes it fun. Um, I did this too, this was a, uh, in the morning when I make coffee or something like that, I don't wanna wake my, my daughter up. If you guys have one of these, they have these style lights that you gotta click on and off. And it doesn't even work. But yeah, um, super bright. I wanted to dim them. So I bought some light dimmers on um, Amazon. So there's a hundred, you know, or you could fine tune it. Oh, it's bright, it's, oh. And you got different modes for, I don't know, my daughter likes these. But yeah, these are cost me about two dollars and fifty cents to do this. Just wired it straight to my switch, and then now we can remotely dim the lights and whatever we have to do. Two fifty. I think I bought a five pack of those things for like ten bucks. But uh, yeah, we use that a lot too. Let's see here. Um, got a little uh, fire pit. They don't allow fires up here, in California, Northern California, wood burning. So I bought this. The reason why I'm talking about this is because I took the quick connect. Yeah, let's go outside. Uh, the quick disconnect under here for the propane where you hook, it comes with the factory grill. Um, I don't want to have to keep using that. I wanted to use my Weber. I found a way to wire, to take the regulators off and, um, and hook it straight to this. I got a couple 12 and a half foot hoses so I could pretty much go anywhere I want. I made a fishing pole holder to go underneath the, uh, the trailer because I had my generator get loose and run over two of my rods and snap them. So I've used this a few times. I'm pretty happy with it. It holds three rods and uh, if you look in the front, you can see how it's locked in. And you can see how you can lock it in the foam. And they're pretty secure, not bouncing around. I put my 12, 15 foot surf rods under here and they fit just fine. Let's see, what else did I do? Uh, back here, the Furion camera. Furion backup camera and the, um, real expensive. I knew I wasn't gonna do it. And I wanna find something and run a cord I got a bracket they sell on, I think Amazon. And the, I mounted the bracket up there and it shows that you can mount multiple cameras to it. My neighbor has the same trailer, I had that. That was the mount, and now I have this here. So when I do get a camera, I'll mount it to that. And instead of having a separate screen, I'm gonna wire it to my double den in my truck. So then I can have a backup camera for my truck and toggle between that and the trailer. So that was kind of neat. And it's only 40 bucks instead of 600 or wherever they are. Um, here's how I wired my amp right here. All the wires out of the way. Uh, try to do it as clean as possible. Just, just crappy, you know, whatever's got good reviews on Amazon. Pretty much nothing special. And then my next project, now I have a, um, a projector I just bought. Uh, what is it? Um, I got a projector to, to project on the side of a movie, and it's a DVD player projector, Bluetooth, and I bought a little Bluetooth speaker. Uh, and if you get a good review, they give you a screen with it. So I got a free screen, the projector, and the um, Bluetooth speaker for like 150 bucks or something like that. So now the kids can watch movies outside. It keeps them out, out of the trailer. and So I could, while the adults are around the fire, the kids could be watching TV outside on the projector, or playing video games too on the side of the trailer. So, um, yeah. I haven't used a projector yet, but uh, we'll see how it goes. With next week, I think we're we're heading out, and I'm gonna surprise the family with it. Um, we'll see what else we got going on here. I think it's about it so far. I want to do a power surge protector to protect it from power surging, but that'll come too. Maybe it'll be another episode or whatever. We'll see how many people like it. But uh, yeah. rock with me, like. That's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, Crown Point Customs.